everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today I am going to be doing a video that is apple cider, apple, I can't talk, apple cider vinegar rinse 101. So I probably get more questions about this product than any other product in my hair care line. So today I'm gonna teach you why you should be using an apple cider vinegar rinse, the benefits of using an apple cider vinegar on your hair and how I do it. But before we get on to the video, don't forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, click the bell right here or click the subscribe button and then ring the bell so you get our notifications and let's start talking all things apple cider vinegar. Let's talk pH for a minute. The pH level, you know that there's like high acidity and then there's alkalinity at the bottom, right? And depending on where in that scale something falls, it's either acidic or it's like it's basic, right? And so the skin and hair on your body is typically running around a 4.5 to a 5.5, which is slightly acidic. Seven is considered neutral. If you're using shampoos and other products that are clarifying products for your hair that are kind of stripping out the gunk and the extra oil, they tend to be slightly alkaline. So what happens over time is that your hair goes from a 4.5 to and, you know, that little range that we talked about, then it gets slowly and more and more and more alkaline as you use, 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 use the product. So the problem with that is that it starts to damage your hair over time. So something like an apple cider vinegar that has a high acidity level to it, it has the ability to pull that number back up and even it back out to that neutral ground where your skin and hair thrive the very most. Just keep in mind that even good shampoos and stuff are going to over time do the same thing on your hair just at a much lower rate so you want to bring that acidity level back up to keep your hair in check it's gonna help with so many things my hair definitely needs to be washed it's day six for me which I normally wash on like day four or five so this is a little longer than I normally go I have oil buildup I've exercised several days so there's nice sweat in there um, and then of course I've used styling products like dry shampoo and other things so we're kind of to the point where my hair pretty much like if I move it it stays in place so the apple cider vinegar rinse that I'm using today is the heritage and apple a day one and I'm using it because I know that all of these nasties are removed it's sulfate free phthalate free paraben free silicone free gluten free mineral oil free color safe cruelty free and vegan on top of that it smells delicious so I know that it's not gonna leave my hair smelling like vinegar either so I'm gonna use the shampoo to do the normal clarifying cleanse on my hair then I'm gonna use the apple cider vinegar rinse to restore the pH balance and then I am going to add in my conditioner to just add a little extra detangling properties put my shampoo in lather it up use my fingertips so you untwist the cap and this needle nose section is so you can get it really down into your scalp. So then I take it and I just work it down into my scalp and just gently squeeze as I'm going. And you can, it kind of sets a little bit as you're going along so you know like which sections you're getting it into. And I try to like squeeze a lot of the water out of my hair so it's just damp, it's not like sopping wet. You can see the setting so you can feel where it's at. And when you're all done, you just kind of work it through like you would a shampoo. And then I try to let it sit in my hair. You can twist your hair up. You can just leave it down. You can put on a shower cap. I twist it up and let it sit for a few minutes. After five minutes, then you just rinse it out of your hair like you would a shampoo. Okay guys, so this is my hair after the apple cider vinegar. For me, it still feels like a little tangly, so I like to put a little conditioner through this afterwards, which is why I do it in between the shampoo and the conditioner, but plenty of people literally just spritz this on or rinse their hair after their conditioner, and that works too. Okay, I'm using SOS to put through my hair, and you're gonna see I'm starting at the ends this time, and I've already, again, squeezed a lot of my water out, and then I'm working it up from my roots. Okay, I've had the conditioner in my hair for a few minutes. You can see how much better my hair looks and I'm about to rinse it out. But I also like to just run a comb through it or a wet brush or a pick, whatever will go through your own hair. Okay, and then after a few minutes, I rinse. I only use an apple cider vinegar probably once every two weeks, maybe sometimes even longer. It depends on the time of year. Acidity over time, if it's too much, too often, can dry your hair out. So you need to be cautious of not overdoing it, but do try to play around a little with apple cider vinegar to see how it responds to your hair because you are going to love it. 
we need to talk about cuticles. So if you looked at your hair shaft under a microscope, you'd see that it's a big long tube. So imagine this is your hair shaft. And all over on that tube, there's little scales called cuticles. But typically the cuticles want to lay flat. That's where they're healthiest. That's where your hair is gonna do the best and when it's gonna look the best. But over time, with dry air, with heat damage, with coloring, with um, if your hair just tends to be dry, it, like by nature, like what's gonna happen is that your cuticles start opening and pulling up. And the more open and pulled up, the more likely it is that your hair is damaged or that you're gonna have fuzz, that you're gonna have frizz, that you're gonna get tangles. It just produces like overall kind of dry and damaged hair. Shampoos typically, the, I already explained to you, they have have a little bit of alkaline in them. What happens is that when you use that alkalinity in it, it tends to pull up the cuticles just a little bit. It opens up the cuticles. So then why we all like a conditioner is because the conditioner helps to lay the cuticles flat. So right now you can see Paisley has her hair on this side. I have half of it out because I'm demonstrating for you guys multiple ways, but normally her hair might be braided like this or you might have it in cornrows or you might have it in some other form of protective style that you don't want to undo the twists or the braids all the time to wash the hair. So in this instance, you might need to kind of wash the scalp and cleanse so that there's not smell or lots of grime building up, but you want to leave it like this. So a shampoo would be too sudsy and too hard to rinse out. That's where an apple cider vinegar rinse comes in. What I would do on this case is simply just take, this is why again, there's the kind of the pointed top. Just take the apple cider vinegar and we're going to go right in between her braids. <laughs> is it cold? Yeah. And down her part lines. <laughs> so that we're just sort of cleaning, adding that all over. And when we get it like to where it's all in there, then you just take your fingertips and sort of gently run it through there onto our scalp, trying not to undo her cute braids that are in. And we would just do that so that it's all over. It's cold. And we would let it sit for a minute or two and then we would just lightly rinse all of that out. Then you would just dry her hair with a towel and you'd be set to go for a couple more weeks before you have to take her entire style out and wash and detangle her hair. Okay, the second way to use an apple cider vinegar, you could use it as a no poo wash. So no poo means no shampoo. You just wanna use the apple cider vinegar. In this case, with her hair undone like this, I would just kind of make parts and go along through her scalp like this and apply it, just like we were doing with the braids and then rub down into her scalp until it's like sudding and you're feeling that, oops, sorry, Paige. <laughs> and you're seeing that sud. And then you would just kind of shoot it through the rest of her hair like this <laughs> and rub it in until it was completely all over in her hair and then let it sit. And then you would rinse it all out and then add conditioner afterwards to moisturize even more and hydrate. The third way to use apple cider vinegar rinse is in between a shampoo and a conditioner. So on Paisley's hair, I use conditioning wash shampoo, the co-wash. For me, the difference between this and using it as a no poo is simply how long it's been between washes and how much buildup there is in her hair. So it's been several weeks, she had her hair braided, and so she had a lot of product buildup, and I can feel that there's like buildup in her hair that I'm interested in getting out with the co-wash first, and then I will use the no poo to just kind of reinforce that and to help seal and close some of her cuticles and to really pump in some vitamins into her hair. So I'm gonna start by just using the double down co-wash. Okay, so I have co-washed her hair and rinsed it and I've just kind of finger detangled as I was going and now I'm going to apply the apple cider vinegar. So again, we're just kind of going into her scalp, putting this in, just like we would if we were only using this. I'm just sort of making finger part lines, working down her scalp all the way down and then I'm gonna take it and spray a little through the ends and make sure I'm working it all the way down. And then what I'm gonna do is just rub into her scalp. So I'm really, I'm using the pads of my fingers, not my nails, and I'm just massaging. This is great for your hair follicles and this is great for your scalp. It helps make sure all of that apple cider vinegar is right up against that scalp. And when we're done with that, <laughs> then I would go back in and add the hair mask, which is what I use on Paisley almost exclusively as the conditioner for her, Hi. and work this all through, detangle her hair, let it sit and moisturize. Mm -hmm. And then of course, when we're done with that, I would add in some leave-in conditioner and that's that. That's how you use the apple cider vinegar. So that's how I would use it on Paisley's hair. It just depends on how you wanna use it. My thing, again, I've said this in other videos, but you are the expert on your hair, not me. So you guys take what you learn from me and then apply it to your hair by playing around with it, trying different things, and seeing what's gonna give your hair the best, amazing results. 
apple cider is full of vitamins, great. It's a great, healthy, natural product. For your scalp, it's got an antimicrobial factor, it has antibacterial factor, and an antifungal factor. Can you get any better than that stuff? Apple cider and vinegar is also a great cuticle closer. So your little shaft of cuticles that might be up, this helps to shut them. So what you're going to notice immediately when you use it is your sheen is gonna be better, your luster is more likely to be better on your hair. It's gonna feel a lot smoother, varying from hair to hair, right? Like the discrepancy on what kind of results you get varies from hair to hair. But this, these are the things you're commonly gonna see by using an apple cider vinegar. I am not a licensed dermatologist or doctor. I am not here to tell you that this is a miracle cure for your dandruff. I am just telling you that this is something you might want to try if you experience experience having dandruff and that in the past it has been something that works for some people. I should also note you guys that apple cider vinegar is not just like the stuff you can buy at the store and dump it on your hair because that is a very, very intense solution where apple cider vinegar that you're going to buy from my line has already been pre-diluted which is much, much healthier for your hair. Okay you guys, I hope you loved this video. I hope you love learning more about your hair. I know I certainly do and when I figured all this stuff out 10 years ago, I was like mind blown because I had been using all the wrong things for my hair and this was so helpful for me to figuring out a good hair routine and a good regimen that was healthy for my hair. So if you guys love our videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button right here so you can follow along. And if you wanna find other videos from us, you can click over here to check them out. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.